Hi Cancer, welcome to Buddy Tarot. This is going to be your reading for February 2024. So let's jump right in and see what energies we have for you. In this reading, I'll be doing a Celtic cross and the focus will be mainly on your energy unless a partnership or attached energies show up prominently. So Cancer, the heart of the reading, we have the Tower, crossed by the Four of Cups. So there could be a, some form of uh, something that's happening right now that is kind of uh, something abrupt that's taking place at this time. And with the Four of Cups, the Four of Cups crossing the Tower, I feel like there is a sense of rejection towards this, this, this establishment that is, that is, crumpling I, I don't know what this is about cancer but your back is turned towards this tower that is what i'm seeing you may not necessarily be be seeing a tower but how is that possible you know we all have to face the tower energy but for now your back is turned towards it uh, in your focus we have the wheel of fortune you're focused on change in the recent past we have the ten of wands that's you know you're keeping things together and feeling burdened about Probably carrying too much on your shoulders, carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders in the past. In your strength, we have the Page of Cups. So I feel like you're tapping into your, you know, this. You're trying to stay hopeful about a situation with the Page of Cups. You're trying to keep it light. Yeah, I feel like that is what you're doing with the Page of Cups in your strength. Um, We'll get clarifiers. Um, in the immediate future, there's a new beginning here with the Ace of Wands. The energy that's supporting the reading is the Hangman. So, you know, there is something that is keeping you in a state of... There's not much movement happening at this time, a Cancer, when it comes to something. And actually, it's working in your favor. If something isn't moving at this time, if things are feeling stuck, you have to trust the stagnation because the hangman is in your, is in the energy that's supporting the reading. In uh, the hidden energy is the eight of cups. So you may not necessarily be, be seeing it or you may not necessarily be aware of it, but your heart space is kind of disconnecting from something. Yeah, and with the four of cups crossing and to the hidden you know, Eight of Cups, it's your sense of detachment from a situation is increasing and you may not necessarily be aware of it. Emotional detachment. In the in your hopes and fears, we have the moon. So I feel like you're, there's some hidden energies or there's something about not knowing, you know. There's a lot of unknown factors which are maybe triggering some fears in you, Cancer, at this time. Uh, and in the potential outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So we have two Aces in the immediate future and in the potential outcome. So whatever this tower moment, I'm so sorry guys about the background noise, the children and the traffic, but I live in a crowded neighborhood with a lot of children, as you can hear. Actually, no, they're, they're just, they're actually just two kids making all that noise, but they're, but they're children. So, uh, you know, in the past with the Ten of Wands, there's a chapter closing off. I feel like you're shedding your burdens and in the immediate future, there is a new fresh start. But it's just that there are some hidden factors or some unknown energies around it, which could be making you feel a little fearful at this time. So let's look at the tower at the heart of the reading. What is the tower for Cancer at the heart of the reading? the tower for cancer 
So we have the Hermit, the Eight of Swords and the Ace of, Pent Ace of Pentacles. So Cancer, uh, you know, with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords, you might have been in a solitary energy and kind of like, you might have isolated yourself too much with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. And with the Ace of Pentacles here, you know, there is a new offer that is around, but I feel like you would have to put yourself out there because with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords, this is confinement. I feel like you've been in an energy of confinement and there is a brand new offer here and I feel like this is this is this is what you're realizing and this is a good tower but you know you have you're kind of like not so interested I feel like in what is happening around you let's look at the four of cups we have the two of wands the eight of wands and the two of swords so there is a partnership that was going well and things were progressing but you know with the two of swords things might have come to a halt or there might be a stalemate between you and somebody and with the four of cups you know with this stalemate or this 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 uh, things that have come to a grinding halt you could say because the eight of swords uh, the eight of wands is fast movement you know very fast movement but but something came to a grinding halt because of back and forth indecision and this is causing you to feel you know a bit down i feel like this is the energy that you're dealing with cancer you know well somebody is blocking somebody which is ca causing a sense of rejection or movement has come to a halt and in a partnership which is causing someone to feel a bit discontent but regardless, uh, uh, Cancer, there is a new offer. But you would have to come out of the energy of confinement if you have confined yourself. Let's look at the Wheel of Fortune in your focus. We have the Ace of Wands again, the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. So, you know, there is a new beginning prominently with the Ace of Wands in the immediate future and the Ace of Wands in your focus. But... The happiness that you get, there is a new beginning which is which has a potential for a lot of happiness and to you know to see you th through right to the end like to give you complete emotional satisfaction but this would actually depend on your action as the queen of wands whatever you do will determine which way though you know what destiny will bring depends on what what comes ahead what what how shall I put this? Your destiny will be determined by your actions. Cancer. And I feel like you're aware of it. Which is why this is all showing up in your strength. Let's look at the ten of wands in your recent past. We have death. The devil. And the ace of swords. Yeah, you, you In the past you cut out. You, you put an end to a to a not so healthy uh, energy that you had been dealing with and with the ace of swords i feel like you gained some clarity about this not so good energy that you were dealing with which was making you feel burdened because you knew like something was making you feel not good something was creating heaviness in you and i feel like you kind of figured out in the past what it is, what it was that was making you feel burdened. What about a certain dynamic with the devil? There is definitely an energy attached, you know. Also with the devil and the ten of wands, I feel like cancer, you might have taken too much on your own shoulders and you realize that there might have been a need for you to delegate responsibilities because the ten of wands is here. And if not, you might have seen or understood clearly that something needed to end, which is why, you know, we have the Ace of Wands in the immediate future. Now the question is, are you going to, are you going to initiate it? Are you going to take this offer? Let's look at the Page of Cups in your strength. We have 
the three of pentacles, the king of cups and the five of cups. I feel like there's an energy attached to you with the three of pentacles. There's a partnership here and it involves love. And with the page of cups, there might have been some form of message or something which could have left you feeling a little disappointed. Or, you know, you could be trying to, you know, cancer express in a very gentle way about what is disappointing you to this person that you're working with, either in personal or professional life. You're not coming. You feel you feel deeply disappointed about something with the king of cups and the five of cups but you're showing up as the page of cups on the surface so you're not really expressing how disappointed you are in this situation you're not telling the person as you're not telling the person the extent to which you're disappointed and this is showing up in your strength so i think that's a good thing or I don't know. I really don't know what is good or bad, guys. I, what is good or bad, right or wrong. These are like very debatable topics. I, I really don't know, Cancer. But this is showing up in your strength. So it's, I, I guess it's a good thing. In the immediate future, we have the Ace of Wands. We yeah, have the Justice, Energy, the Emperor and the Eight of Cups. You're taking control of a situation and walking away because you want a fresh start. You don't want to carry burdens. You don't want to feel burdened. You don't want the sense of heaviness that you've been carrying around. You definitely want to cut it off. You know, there is a certain sense of disappointment that is there in your energy. A bit of dissatisfaction. And with the Eight of Cups in the immediate future, you know, clarifying the Ace of Wands for this new beginning to be given life, to ignite this new beginning, the Ace of Wands, it would require you to walk away from something that is not satisfying you in order to make space for the new. And I feel like in the immediate future, you're going to do that with the Emperor. Taking control and you know, detaching from things that don't make you feel happy anymore and focusing on, on something new, a new project or anything that would, you know, ignite your passion again, not make you feel like burdened. Uh, let's look at the hangman in the energy that's supporting. We have the page of wands, the four of cups and the empress. So, you know, there could be another energy that is supporting you at this time with the Empress. With the Page of uh, page of Wands and the Four of Cups, you might receive some news about a feminine energy that could leave you a little disappointed and feeling a bit stuck in your head. But... You know, the universe wants you to know that whatever message you might receive and whatever might leave you feeling like whatever, like, you know, I'm not interested, whatever it is, uh, you know, it's, you're seeing things from a different perspective. Whatever the stagnation is, is working in your favor. So you have to trust it. There is something about a feminine energy that is disappointing you. This could be anybody, an aunt, a, a partner, you know, a, a mother figure. But, but you're going to see things differently. You're, you're going to understand why, you know, whatever is happening, you'll understand why, why it's happening with the, with the, uh, hangman here in the supporting energy. Uh, let's look at the Eight of Cups in the hidden. We have the Three of Cups, the Knight of Swords and the Two of Cups. So, you know, um, a friendship is quickly developing into something special. Yeah. 
and you may not necessarily be seeing this uh, cancer. There is a hidden two of cups and you know it may not be very obvious because you and this person are friends or part of the same social circle or dynamic but definitely there's something special here. And this is the this is in the hidden energy, the eight of cups. So as you disconnect from this burdensome energy, this toxic energy that that has been making you feel burdened in the past, this new, uh, well, not new, the special connection. This this it's not new. This special person is going to come to the forefront. It's not very obvious at this time. We have the moon in your hopes and fears. So let's see what this is about. We have the fool. Yeah, you know, anxiety. There, there could be anxiety around a new beginning, uh, Cancer. It's 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 that feeling we feel right before something starts because we don't know where we're headed. And there, you have to be careful with the five of swords. You could end up, you know, sabotaging this new beginning. But... With the six of wands as the final card, even though you might sometimes doubt yourself and come in your own way, you're going to come out victorious. So don't be afraid. Don't be fearful and don't let your thoughts come in your way and stop you from moving towards victory. You know, victory feeling good. Uh, you could also be moving somewhere with the six of wands. That could be like a short journey, you know, in the moon with the moon and the uh, six of wands and the 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 fool together. It could be uh, you could be hoping for a you could be hoping for a a break or like a a short well, it's not really a break, but. Like a voyage, you could say. Anyway, that's a side message. I'm sorry uh, for deviating. Uh, let's look at the page of uh, the Ace of Pentacles in the potential outcome. So we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles. So these are all new developing energies, the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups. You know, you're seeing things differently. You're starting to feel about this con there's a new contract there is a potential new contract it could be a work contract with the ace of pentacles and the ace of ace of wands together you know um, also with the queen of pentacles i feel like there is movement towards your own stability and uh, nurturing yourself with the queen of pentacles the potential outcome is good it's like you're taking baby steps with the Page of Swords, with the Page of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. You know, you're you're taking action towards this, this new beginning that is there. I feel like you're slowly going to pick up pace and you're going to come out of your hermit mode and uh, put energy into this, this Ace of Pentacles to let it, you know, nurture into something long term and stable. I feel like you're going to do it, Cancer. Uh, whatever this new thing is, I feel like you're not going to miss it. Yeah. I feel like there's an opportunity and in there's an opportunity that's showing up for you in the month of February and I feel like you're taking the opportunity and you're nurturing it. It could involve some kind of movement or something unknown or something something that you have not dealt with before which is why there's a bit of fear around the unknown uh let's look at your advice let's let's get three cards for for your advice what is the advice for cancer what is the advice for cancer Sorry about the kids, guys. Your advice is the nine of wands, the five of pentacles and the star. Now, if there have been any financial hardships, 
you know you're going to overcome it just stay hopeful and you know with your hard work and diligence you're going to overcome whatever difficulties are there you're going to overcome if there are if there's abandonment issues or if anything made you feel not so good in the past you know you're going to overcome it i'm going to you're going to heal yourself from this and align with your higher self so good job and this is a great reading cancer it's starting off a bit you know it's starting off a bit rough with the tower but uh you know it's getting better so uh cancer this is what i have for you if you're still watching thank you for your patience i hope this helped uh thank you for your likes shares and subscribes and i will catch you again soon later bye